bright duty every student matters hello students my name is sanjay jain in this lecture we will continue our discussion on lines and angles in this particular lecture we will talk about parallel lines and the angles made by transversal these two are parallel lines right this is the transversals okay we will focus on these angles this angle let us name it as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay these two lines are parallel and these are the angles when these lines are cut by a transversal now angle 1 and angle 5 these angles are known as corresponding angles corresponding angles so if i say angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles that means that these are the angles on same side of both the lines right so angle 1 is on this side of this line and angle 5 is also on this side similarly angle 1 is on the right side of transversal and angle 5 is also on the right side of the transversal these angles are corresponding angles similarly angle 1 and angle 5 so similarly we can say angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding right angle 3 and angle 7 are corresponding angles angle 4 and angle 8 are corresponding angles so these are the corresponding angles in this case okay let us study about alternate interior angles which angles are alternate interior angles basically 3 4 6 and 5 these angles are interior angles okay and 1 2 8 and 7 these are exterior angles so out of these interior angles angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles 3 and 5 are alternate interior angles similarly angle 4 and angle 6 angle 4 and angle 6 are also alternate interior angles now i'll study i'll talk about another type of angle which is consecutive interior angles angle 4 and angle 5 are consecutive interior angles angle 3 and angle 6 are also consecutive interior angles these are also known as co interior angles so which angles are co interior angles angle 4 and angle 5 the other case is angle 3 and angle 6 so these are co interior angles right we have studied about corresponding angles alternate interior angles co interior angles in this right so let us study about some of the axioms and theorems which will be used in this particular chapter the first and most important axiom is that these corresponding angles are equal corresponding angles are equal this is known as corresponding angles axiom okay when there is a pair of parallel lines and it is cut by transversal the corresponding angles are equal okay and otherwise the converse of this is if a transversal cuts two lines and the corresponding angles are equal then these two lines will be parallel to each other so this is the one of the most important axioms that we are going to study here which is known as corresponding angles axiom and i have just told you about this axiom that if a transversal cuts two parallel lines the corresponding angles are equal okay this is the corresponding angle axiom what is the converse converse is that if a transversal cuts two lines 
okay and the corresponding angles are equal then these lines are parallel to each other so this is the corresponding axiom that we will use in this chapter now the second theorem is if a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of alternate interior angles is equal what does it mean that if a transversal cuts two parallel lines then each pair of alternate interior angles let it be 1 2 so this is one pair 3 4 this is another pair right and this is the transversal okay now let us consider it to be angle 5 okay look at this angle 5 is equal to angle 1 angle 5 is equal to angle 1 why because these are vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles and we have studied in our first lecture that vertically opposite angles are equal so angle 5 is equal to angle 1 and angle 5 and 3 look at this angle 5 and angle 2 angle 5 is equal to angle 2 why because these are corresponding angles okay so comparing these two we can say angle 1 is equal to angle 2 which is a pair of alternate interior angles so all pair of alternate interior angles are equal similarly we can prove that angle 3 is equal to angle 4 how can we prove it we can prove it in various ways one we have proved angle 1 to be equal to angle 2 so we can say this is supplementary of angle 1 and this is supplementary of angle 2 so if angle 1 is equal to angle 2 their supplementary angles will also be equal what I mean to say is if I consider this to be an equation and write it like this this will still be true right what, what is one, angle 180 minus 1 180 minus 1 is angle 3 and 180 minus 2 is angle 4 this is one of the ways to prove it so each pair of alternate interior angles is equal okay what is the second theorem here if the transversal intersects two lines in such a way that a pair of alternate interior angles is equal then the two lines are parallel now we are given that there are two lines which we do not know whether they are parallel or not and there is a transversal that cuts it and let it be a pair of alternate interior angles and it is given that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and now we need to check whether this line is parallel to this line or not okay how can we say that two lines are parallel we can say it from the corresponding angles axiom if the pair of corresponding angles are equal then we but then we can say that these lines are parallel to each other okay so it is given that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because the alternate interior angles are equal now if I make it angle 3 I know angle 1 is equal to angle 3 why vertically opposite angles right so angle 1 is equal to angle 3 now it is already given that angle 1 given that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 hence I can say angle 3 is equal to angle 2 which are corresponding angles so corresponding angles are equal right hence the lines are parallel this is as simple as that okay we have just proved that the corresponding angles are equal so we can definitely say that these lines are parallel we will use corresponding angles axiom in this okay if a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of consecutive interior angles is supplementary now this time the parallel lines are given and there is a transversal okay now we need to prove that this angle and this angle these are consecutive interior angles right this is one pair and this is another pair of consecutive interior angles now we need to show that 1 plus 2 is 180 angle 3 plus angle 4 is also 180 
okay now in this we can use the previous theorems which we have just proved that alternate interior angles are equal right so angle 3 is equal to angle 2 alternate interior angles okay and angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees why because they lie on the same side of a straight line so they these are supplementary right we did it in the first exercise okay so angle 1 plus 3 equal to 180 degrees because this is a linear pair when the angles lie on the same side of a straight line these are known as linear pair and their sum is 180 degrees so if angle 1 plus 3 is 180 degrees i can replace angle 3 by angle 2 so i can say angle 1 plus angle 2 is also 180 degrees which is this statement right similarly i can say angle 3 plus 4 is also 180 degrees right i can use similar argument in that also okay so angle 1 is equal to angle 4 angle 1 is equal to angle 4 by alternate interior and angle angle 1 plus angle 3 is 180 degrees why because it's a linear pair now i'll replace 1 by 4 so angle 4 plus angle 3 will also be 180 degrees so i can say that if these are two parallel lines and this is a transversal the co-interior angles are supplementary okay and the other way around if the transversal intersects two lines in such a way that consecutive interior angles are supplementary then the two lines are parallel now this time this angle plus this angle is given as 180 these are supplementary so we need to see whether these lines are parallel or not okay now we will use corresponding angles axiom let it be angle 3 now i can say angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree by a linear pair right so comparing these two i can say angle 2 is equal to angle 3 now angle 2 and 3 are corresponding angles so corresponding angles are equal i can say hence corresponding angles are equal which makes it the lines are parallel why because of the corresponding angles axiom okay axiom is something that we that we imagine to be true we don't have to prove it right it is an assumed fact that axioms are true okay so, so you start with the fact that the given axiom corresponding ang angle axiom is true okay based on that you need to prove the theorems okay if two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal the bisectors of any pair of alternate interior angles are parallel so these are two parallel lines and these are intersected by a transversal the bisectors of any pair of alternate interior angles so let it be this pair of in alternate interior angles okay let it be angle 1 and it to be angle 2 okay angle 1 is equal to angle 2 alternate interior angles now we will look at the bisectors bisector of angle 1 will be something like this and bisector of angle 2 can be drawn like this okay if this angle is theta and this angle is alpha okay what is angle alpha angle alpha is angle 1 by 2 and angle theta is angle 2 by 2 that is half of angle 2 now i know that angle 1 and 2 are equal so if i divide both sides by 2 they will also be equal hence i can say theta is equal to alpha okay so and what are these angles these are alternate interior angles so alternate interior angles are equal 
Hence, this line and this line are parallel. Okay? Let us name them. So, O P is parallel to M N because they are alternate interior angles because this line is acting as transversal for these two lines. right? And alternate interior angles are equal which we just proved by this. right? Hence, we can say these two lines are parallel. Hence, this theorem is true. Okay? If two lines are intersected by a transversal, then they are bisectors, then bisectors of any two corresponding angles are parallel. Look at this. This is, transverse, this is the transversal and these are, let us say, the pair of corresponding angles. So, let it be angle 1, it to be angle 2. Look at their bisectors. If it is theta, if it is alpha, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because these are corresponding angles. So, half of angle 1 will be equal to half of angle 2. What is half of angle 1? It is theta because this is the bisector. right? So, theta is equal to half of angle 2. Half of angle 2 is alpha because it is it is bi angle bisector. right? So, theta is equal to alpha. Theta and alpha are what type of angles? These are corresponding angles for these two lines. This line and this line. Okay? So, these are corresponding angles. Hence, these two lines are parallel. Okay. So, how can you write it? You can write it as O M, let us say N P. Okay. Four lines O M and N P, theta and alpha are corresponding angles when O N is the transversal. right okay so these angles are equal hence we can say these lines are parallel okay. if the bisectors of a pair of corresponding angles formed by a transversal with two given lines are parallel then prove that the given lines are parallel this time these are two given lines and these are corresponding angles. These bisectors are given as parallel to each other. So, this is parallel to this. Okay. Now, if these two are parallel and these are angle bisectors, okay. so this angle is equal to this angle, this angle is also equal to this one. So, if this is theta, this will be theta, this is alpha, this will be alpha. These two lines are parallel. Okay? Now, it is given the bisectors of pair of corresponding angles formed by a transversal with two given lines are parallel. So, let it be the bisector of this angle. So, this is alpha, this is alpha. This be the bisector of this angle. So, these are theta each. Okay? And these two lines are given as parallel. So, we need to prove whether these lines are parallel or not. Now, see these two lines are parallel this line and this line and this is acting as transversal this one so alpha is equal to theta alpha is equal to theta why because these are corresponding angles for these two parallel lines this one and this one this is acting as transversal so, this angle and this angle are corresponding. So, they are equal. Okay? If alpha is equal to theta, I can say 2 alpha is equal to 2 theta. Right? Now, this angle is equal to this complete angle. But these angles are also corresponding angles for these two lines and this line being the transversal. So, we can say that given lines are parallel because 2 theta and 2 alpha are corresponding angles and are equal 
because we proved it here okay hence these lines are also parallel so this i am giving you in brief the language you can write it yourself okay i am speaking so you can write it yourself if a line is perpendicular to one of the two given parallel lines then it is also perpendicular to the other one this is pretty simple concept these two lines are parallel and if let us say there is a line which is perpendicular to this line okay so it should be perpendicular to this line also why because if this angle is theta and this is 90 degrees these two lines are parallel so let it be line l and it be line m line l is given as parallel to m hence i can say theta plus 90 is equal to 180 why because these are co interior angles so their sum is 180 hence i can say theta is also 90 degrees so if this line is perpendicular to one of these lines so it will definitely be perpendicular to the second line also which is the parallel to this one okay